So first thing you want to do is make sure you have your reference photos. That's what you're going to be basing your look off of. This will help you identify exactly where you need to sand. Here I'm using 120 to 180 grit sandpaper. You're going to want to remove the Harley Davidson logo that's on the side of the boots. Now once that's done, you can move on to other sanded parts of the boot. Now I went around and gave the entire boot a light sanding to make it look like it's been worn. This will just add to the realism. Here's roughly what it should look like when you finish the sanding process. Now that we're done with the sanding, we can move on to replacing the buckles with the metal ring. You'll need two of these, one for each boot. Here I'm just eyeballing and measuring the placement I want the ring to be in. Here I'm giving the leather a light sanding to help the glue stick better when I apply it. I use super glue here just because I find that it works fine for me, but you can also use barge cement. Now here I'm cutting the inside of the elastic so I can remove the buckle. 
and attach the ring to the other side. Give it a quick sanding for when I apply the glue to the elastic. holding it there for a few seconds, that's now complete. And then you just repeat the process on the other boot. For the painting process, I'm just using regular acrylic. I'm using chocolate brown, a black, and a tan color at the end. Here I'm adding a few drops of water so that when I apply it, it looks more like muddy water when I paint it on. Also make sure you have a rag so you can wipe off any excess paint you get on there. Again, make sure you look at your reference photos so that you know where to paint and where to make it look more splotchy. And it's okay if you mess up and get paint where you don't need it since you can just sand it off. Here I'm just dabbing the mud color in the crevices of the boot. It just adds to the weathering. Then before it dries, I rub it with the rag to give it this uh, dried mud appearance. Also make sure you're not ignoring some parts of the boot, you want to make this thing look really worn and uh, battle damaged. The only part I'm not applying paint is at the top, uh, because that's going to be covered with his ammo belts anyways. When you move on to the other boot, make sure you're not mirroring the one you just worked on since that's not really how things get weathered uh, in real life. Obviously that's not to say you can't take inspiration from the other side, it's just uh, don't try to copy it exactly.
Here I'm mixing paint but not mixing it completely so that there's still streaks of each color um, to cover the Davidson logo on the bottom. Now I'm mixing black with that brown color to get a, a darker mud value um, and I'm going over the previous paint job to add more depth and um, uh, layers. Here's what mine ended up looking like when I finished painting the leather. I noticed these were darker in the show than they are in real life, so I went ahead and painted them with um, a dark brown wash. So here I measured a 12 by 1.5 inch piece of leather uh, to make the zipper covers. The size and length may vary depending on what size boot you are, but these seem to work for me. Make sure to leave extra length at the top of the strip so you can fold it over to the inside of the boot and add your closure. I used industrial strength sticky back velcro for one side and then um, for the leather strip I sewed a piece of sew on velcro. Make sure you apply the velcro on the underside of the leather and not the top side so that when you fold it over it'll actually stick. Once one side of the velcro is sewn on, you can decide where to position the strip. After that, you can give a light sanding to the bottom of the zipper so you can apply your glue of choice when you attach the strip.
and then you can attach the sticky side of the Velcro to complete the closure. And then just repeat on the other side. I went ahead and gave it a light sanding as well as a small paint job. I used darker values first and uh, made my way with lighter ones as I went on. Then just repeat on the other side again. From the reference photos, it looks like the orange tones on the leather are covered with bomb dark brown or black paint so I went with black and I just got rid of those. And there you go. This is what they should look like uh, when you're completely finished with all those steps. The second video will be on how to make the ammo belts that go around the top of the boot and the metal toe cap that sits at the front. And thanks so much for watching.